mighty kaiju Daimos. They're showing it at the theater right now. Huh. He's talking to himself again. Usami-chan, would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Do you need something? Uh. Not really, sorry. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange. You seem kinda... But you're just fine, right? Hey! Iyori-chan! Shall we go home together? <laughs> sorry, I have... You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. Well, it's about that time. Yeah, I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. Bye! Hmm. 
something up? You're staring. <clears throat> it's Yoko nothing. doesn't remember us, but maybe that's... <laughs> Miwako! I'm heading out! <laughs> See you! <sighs> I'm late! There you are. Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Bold words for someone who can't be bothered to make it here on time. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, you're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? <laughs> Hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. I'm not complaining. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? Usami! You're here too? Why? This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? To save the girl trapped in orbit. Then we are on the same path. So you're here to help number 16, too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown...
Agreed artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here, but we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there, but now... It won't respond, not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. Hugh Amiguchi may know the reason. You want to know why? Ida did it himself. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. So, why are you here? I can't turn down a cry for help. Especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. In the far-off future, Shikishima planned to colonize other planets. And the Kaiju were tools for terraforming the surface. What are they doing here in the past? Morimura. Megumi. Are they planning on fighting those things? Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but she's actually another you. Amiguchi-kun surprised me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? Let's see. Yuki-chan from Class 1A? Miyura-kun too. What? That guy? I knew it. That song. It sounded a little different in the style of the 80s. But it's just like when I sang back in middle school. And... Inaba. That's my username. I became an idol? Uh, seriously? The preparations are complete. Kisaragi, as you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here goes. No good? The Sentinel started up normally. We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. Thank you. Access is clear. Don't worry. Universal control doesn't suspect a thing. To it, this appears to be a simple video broadcast. So you're... Miyuki Inaba? Also known as Tomi Kisaragi. Just like you. Please tell me. What is all this? What's going on? I would like information as well. Do you trust me? Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself. I was shifted to the orbiting command ship. Command ship? For the second phase of the Interstellar Development Project. It's an artificial satellite that presides over terraforming. Terraforming? The very ground you stand on is proof. The second phase was a resounding success. No way! 
So the D-forces were used to develop land? Originally, yes. They were designed as heavy machinery for that purpose. You mean, it's really true? We're not on planet Earth, huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city's less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I'd been investigating? Universal control alters the information you receive. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here, I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your Sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kisaraki. Huh? She's the one who designed the second phase of interstellar development. She was a terraforming researcher. Watch this log of hers. February 8th, 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday. I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. We believe the planet is a Type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, the process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion, I updated the system on the command ship. It's set to monitor the final phase. Surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. As the professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well, but I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tony Kizaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things, like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well, what now? The command ship will fall below the horizon soon. We'll be disconnected for quite a while. Are there any measures we can take? Yes. But I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered, and the only ones who can do that are all of you. Trust in me, and get into the Sentinels. Where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. Erika Aiba is a robot? Or, more accurately, a criminal by the name of Juro Izumi, who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. 
Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. Sekigahara is there. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. Anyone there? Are you in here? Where is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> Sekigahara, what happened? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsuno Minami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation, but there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you be okay by yourself? Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. Where is Nachon? Southeast. 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy-ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean... Nachon? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. I'm ready. Lead the way.
won't come in here, but if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here? Without anyone knowing? You're okay. Yuki-chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, all right? I know. But why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki-chan! The Kimbolar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Of course. Spell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you. With everything I have! <laughs> Should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Oh. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of sentinel number 17. To you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Not to know. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together, and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Now to know. It's time to activate. Okay. Worked, BJ? BJ? 
You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he... deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong! He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ? Hero. No point in trying to make sense out of his story, and still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? <sighs> All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Natsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes, I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 19... later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. The idea of two similar parallel worlds. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. Chihiro. Chihiro. She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? <sighs> Chihiro.
What's happened to her? Chihiro Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro. Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. Natsuno-san, I'm not sure why, but I really want it. Could she still be at school? No point in trying to make sense out of his story. It's still too early to spot a scout you and it... Natsuno-san's over there. Oh, what do I do? What's the hurry? Miyura-kun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. All right, let's split up and find him. Okay, he couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay, then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks. Flying RC thing? It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shape. Didn't look like a helicopter to me. <sighs> so it can fly behind the North building. That's where the old school building is. No sign of him. Sounds like rotor blades. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno-san's worried about you. Hey, Carl, Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Well, that's fortunate. I've been looking for you, too. Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyura. <sighs> At this point, nothing I hear should surprise me anymore. At this, nothing I hear... Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight in the Sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. So you've been using a Sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the Sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. At this point, nothing I... Does Natsuno-san know that you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that she doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know what's going to happen. My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative, even with future technology. 
Time travel is impossible. We never travel through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura before you. I located the Sentinel. I can now access all logs. So the rest of the footage is available. Promise me. Uh -huh. Before the final invasion begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan. Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Chihiro's... plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. Aurimura-san. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors? Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then? I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. So this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. Sure. I should head to school. My Yaki Silva Pond's waiting for me. No. Wait, that's not the point. I can't lose focus. I need to find Okino. Noodle stir. I don't trust much, but if there's one exception... If I had to guess, Okino must be a cat person. Well, not that that's particularly important to know. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we knew. Now... Where is Okino?
Just another student. But she's so pale. And covered in bandages. In the tree's shade, she looked more ghost than girl. <sighs> she's no ghost. I've gotten this close already. Maybe... No, 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 no. This is not the time. Um... Uh, is this cheating? No, of course not. Why would it be? Okino's a man anyway. If, hypothetically, I had fallen for him, it was when I believed him to be a girl. Oh, now I remember. He cozied up to that rascal Ogata too. He even confessed his love. <laughs> Sorry, Yokino. But you strayed first. It's only fair. Excuse me, miss. Uh, oh. Are we on for today? Uh, I got somewhere to be. Well, all right. Again. That kitty is so cute. Does it live at the school? Oh, you mean Lucky? Lucky? Oh, you know, because he's a lucky cat. Lucky, is it? A cat of many names, it sounds like. What's so lucky about him? You just hang around this cat, and you start finding money everywhere. <gasps> what? Serious? I mean, it's, it's usually like a couple coins. Oh, so just lose change. Hmm. Well, worth a try. Let's see what's under the box, shall we? Oh. A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find.
fifty yen on me. A hundred fifty yen? yen coin. That's a lucky find. No. Digging around for it. That looks so sketchy. Yaki Soba Pond, please. Sorry for making you wait, Yaki Soba Pond, but it's okay now. Time to dig. Delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. See Okino anywhere. Is he not at school? Oh. Isn't that one of the Sentinel scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. And he's. You. You're the one from the shrine where we cross time. What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Stop! Blasted Gizmo! What's Sentinel technology doing here? How did you get here? I'll take a look. What is this? What were you thinking, Okino? What's wrong, Takatoshi? What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonome found it. Daimos, really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? I'm just reusing the infrastructure. Environment management code. Relax. We're not gonna get kaiju popping up. Still. And hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Come on. You love me, so you can trust me, right? The work's done. 
We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out, as long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Sukasa, you're right. I'd rather be holding you right now myself. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Thanks. I love you. You Takatoshi. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? But Okino and I were together. In love. It's impossible. Hey, what did you just show me? Put it up again! Here begins my final log. This isn't the same recording. Tsukasa's dead. <sighs> the medical bio kits are no good to me now, so... I only got an hour or two left. <sighs> Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. And Tsukasa. He argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed. No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors. There's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... <laughs> Project Ark actually goes through. If... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect them. <laughs> protect all my friends. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> my Tsukas. Reborn? Okino was killed? What did I just see? Why do I have this pit in my stomach? Okino, where are you? brought him here. Looks like Okino's with him, too. Okino! Oh, good. You're safe. Hijiyama-kun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Uh, what? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh, Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh... No, really? Wait, were you out... No! Well, I'm glad he's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. You! Whoa there. 
You move, I shoot. Bastard must have followed me. You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <clears throat> Isn't that right? You've done really well, holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino... I need it. Please, help me. Sure. Since you finally asked nicely. You two... Don't tell me. You two are... Steady? <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Damn that Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then... I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would... steal him? Noodle Sturf... I don't... but if there's one... That damn move that was too far for a joke. Anyway, what was going on with those talking images? If I recall, they said something about being reborn? So the Sentinel's a web, it's strengthened after- Now, where is Okino? On time. Okino. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Okino's trying to sneak, so I have to keep Morimura. She should be wearing a... be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Now that's done. Wait. Yes? Uh, well, uh, there was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move, because... They broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance, quick. Wait, I mean, I, th their leg's mostly fine, actually. They scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very... scraped. Hmm. Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? About time for a retreat. What year? Tell me your...
A hundred yet? That's a lucky f No. I have... Soda. Man, the water fountain in the walkway sucks. Like zero water pressure. Maybe there's some mud in the drain. Wish they'd clean it out. That's a lucky... I have 200 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please! Sorry for making you wait, Yakisoba Pon, but it's okay now. Time to dig in. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yakisoba Pon. This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. What do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms. Those legs. It's like an Iron Giant. A 2,000 ton invincible Iron Giant at that. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleships? I don't know much about the technical side. But it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. 
and I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know, I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the Professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. Be. It is! If it isn't Keitaro! In the flesh! Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama! I never imagined you'd wind up here too! Takatoshi-san? <sighs> it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. <sighs> it really is you, Takatoshi-san. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and the Sarah's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yakisoba pon. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yakisoba pon. It's the most delicious food. This era has to offer. Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any hamburger? What is this hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least. That's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. 
But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What, what do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place... I think it'd be better to show you, instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s... So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Malsan's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids, but there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention? Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. about yeah they're all daimos destroyers of worlds did these monsters eat everyone they don't eat the people have all been captured thanks to a buried ufo well a saucer a saucer that's what the daimos are after their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer Specifically, to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother... and to Mausan, these things took them away? Wait, if the world was destroyed in the 1940s... Then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... These are... Parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. You used to borrow Keitaro science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. Sure. supposed to do now if I'd been there before my homeland lost everything 
If I'd fought in the Sentinel, maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I... So the Sentinel's a weapon? It's strange to say, after all... He's telling me that even I know this is all over. How do I make a difference? Okino. there. <laughs> you certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. What can't mind his... textbook. I was studying for the wrong subject the whole night. That happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. Understanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. <sighs> really, what exactly are you doing? I've never seen you around. Human. Noodles. I know, but if there's... Huh. Really? What exactly? 
got you all nervous. I just don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. Uh... I'm just a big fan, you know? Back to front. Oh, right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but... show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh... Sweet.
Damn it. One can drink a day seems like a healthy limit. No, one can. I've never seen you around here, minus so. Uh, what's got you all nervous? I just don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so no. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. No. Uh,
got you all nervous. I just don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. Uh, I'm just a big fan, you know, back to front. Oh, <laughs> right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but... Really? What exact... Hold it right there. Gojo Senpai! Oh. Sorry. I remembered something I had. Oh. He's gone. A hundred? That's a lucky. So I'll see you at the usual place later? Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? Oh. oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? <sighs> Right now, after sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. No point just sitting around. I'll have to kill time for a. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. Sokino planning with that girl. <sighs> it feels like he's hiding something. Oh no. 
What time is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. I'll wait here and confront them when they return. <sighs> Ogata. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh... Oh. You don't know either? Mm. Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. God damn it. Sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. But I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little... Jealous? That's totally it, right? Please. We'll get jealous over is you. Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous. I was just... I was just... Worried about you. <sighs> That's all. I want to know how to save everyone. You if there's a way, place, then right? tell me. Well, I understand. I'm doing anyway. my best to find the right I answer mean, here. If... I don't know if it'll Something be enough to save to everyone, but moron. it could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak. You know, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home? Please. Damn it. You got off easy this time, Oak. You know. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. you about this before we're inside the buried UFO what is this androids 
They were protecting this place. Androids? Mechanized dolls, I guess. They're all broken anyway. <sighs> So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. The saucer. Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. So this is what the Daimos had been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5. Which means, it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. 40-year gaps, going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos's Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but... That's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos, and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO, Universal Control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1 the automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> but yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. 
something a bit more fundamental. Everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Chihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is, she's still a family. Takatoshi-san, you actually showed up? That sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Yeah, the sentinel's inside that building. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon, all this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Odds, it's an honor. Takatoshi-san, if anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid! <sighs> Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. And if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. And don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. <sighs> All right. Let's go. We're taking back our Sentinel. That's what I want to hear. Ah, there it is. Just how I remember it. Freeze! Another one? He's still alive. I'm using low power shots, but still. Feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. I want to thank you, Takatoshi-san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early to be thanking me. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there fighting. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? I'll catch up to you soon. different me from a different time. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. Them for now. I have to consider. 
consider my next moves carefully. Why does this guy keep... Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. These numbers are for the... One set is the user number, and the... That student I saw in front of the... She... She's likely already gone home. I'll have to wait until tomorrow. She seems to have a particular... It appears she confessed, and I have yet to give... What was I going to... Shihiro Morimura's objective. Especially for those from another... If Operation Aegis will never be able to leave this world. That must be it. That must be why I killed her. Found at the nurse's office, the label matches the one on the bottle I had. Oral NM. C0... DD4... Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? With Red Club, she created NMs. I saw her at the school, but what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. Tsunominami is it? She may get me a step closer to recover. If I can really believe what I heard, I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and f I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Now, how should I... I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka. She may even be able to help me find Natsu, but I don't want to get her... Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka, this girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunami... I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow, then I'll head over to the... Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive my... Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. I'd better stay out of sight.
They must be trying to pin me down here. Guess I'm steering clear of the track room for now. <sighs> Excuse me, where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track. Do you need something? We have stuff we need. If you don't need anything, we'll be leaving. I'm looking for a student by the name of... No oh! Minami? Sh she hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Natsuna, she was the one who had that data you... That's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. An outdated transceiver for commun- It has a very limited range. The medical records of Shu Ump- They've all- Where'd she go? with me <sighs> she's definitely up to something Tsunami Nami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Nachan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Stop this right now, you two! Fine. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... that's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> So those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? Yuki Tuck, she delivered the date. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. <sighs> Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Ida. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this, but you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? Because you took pity on me. Some things are best left unknown. I disagree. I should know about my own past. No matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Seki Gahara. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who 
was the target. The leading figure in nanotech research. Chihiro Morimura. Mm. She's a former executive of Newman Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly, and I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find her research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura, and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? Morimura's that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly, the hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Morimura... So I really did do it. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. So tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your Sentinel was the source of the infection. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on. But it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. By loop, you mean going back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? 
This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created when you arrived from another world. I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. <sighs> Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura for Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? <sighs> you and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. <sighs> Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world, so I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's the only one who can track and activate it. <sighs> For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. Glad you're okay. <laughs> we'll get off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. 
That's okay. This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. It's basically the nip, except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories. It's likely the cause of... It's basically the nanomachine equivalent of a X. The inf... It's like... Found at the nurse's office. The label matches the one oral... Yuki Tuck. In order to... She had no choice, but to she says she knows who issues orders to the... Apparent... It's... The medical records of three... Shu Amiguchi. They've... Chihiro Morimura's objective. One with... Especially for those from another world. Like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. Iori Food, despite having lost, she continues to help me. I just... I'm not sure. I gathered some information from Natsuno's, and I came across him. Apparently, I had accepted a particular job to assassin. A gun from the underbeat. Let's head to the top. We can get a good view of the S. Wanna go check it? Yeah. Which one's the SIU built? See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. H hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who though. But the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's... dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonome shot him. Uh, I suppose I'll find out when I get there. Come in. So you came. You've been using the drone to monitor us, haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. <sighs> Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Now then, why don't you come by so we can talk? And hurry, I'd like to give you a proper welcome. survived being shot. You were an android this whole time. That's not true. I did die. I simply copied my memories onto this android, just in case something were to happen to me. You plan to perform another loop as an android? Don't be a fool. I've already saved my data to the evacuation area. So you're having the android do the dirty work? When it comes to making sure I end up in the next world, there's no one I trust to get the job done more than me. Release Fuyusaka. She has nothing to do with this. No. If anything, her existence poses a threat. And as it turns out, you have no intention of keeping our promise. You know I lost my memories. How do you expect me to keep a promise I don't remember? Perhaps this will ring a bell. So... How'd it all go? Taking care of anyone standing in your way, I hope. Well, you can relax. Ryoko and I did what we needed on our end. We've already backed up your data. Next time when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. 
Obey Tetsu and Ida's orders. Keep up the good work. <sighs> Sounds like a real moron. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I've long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what you do, this is the end for you. Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No! Out of my way! Uh, uh, Relax. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. <clears throat> she abandoned the idea of starting over again. And she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Don't you want to know why? Oh, I remember clearly. I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. We can utilize Operation Aegis to protect this world. If we do, we'll be able to survive even if we fail. Though we won't have much of a world left. I don't have much time left. That's why I left myself a message. I'll be able to check it using the message service. Oral NM C02, the bottle's made of plastic. You look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyone. There's nothing I can do. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this... What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. And then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. The satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. What's Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. All right, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. That's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yes, but this time... Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. This is our last chance. So without Sector Zero... the world won't be recreated? If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here. Though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. <sighs> if what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... Of another world. 
Sekigahara-kun. Tell me, why did you erase the logs? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. The Earth is a very different place. Do you want to know what happens? Humanity was wiped out by the nanomachine infection, and it was all my fault. <sighs> Sekigahara-kun! You're in bad shape. At this rate, you'll... Huh? Are you lost, little girl? What are you doing alone in a place like this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember... me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one Chihiro Morimura. Y you're... And that's me. Morimura said quite a bit before she died. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. Sector Zero. <laughs> That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution, but that isn't gonna save you. <laughs> Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset. And that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite of the real world. It's not just this world at stake anymore. If we fail to defeat the Kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. Whether we go with Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time. And no one will be able to loop again. Satellite. Tony, is this... What you meant, it can't be. But... Satellite... Seki... Go... Hey... Are you alright? Ow... Guess you're okay. Fuyusaka. Hey, Kun. Is it over? My past is. But as for our future, for our survival, this is only the beginning. Do you think, um, 
Mate, this is the beginning of something else, too? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Easy, take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you? My head. Maybe I should keep you. My internal clock just needs a bit. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. should make me feel a little better. He's a Nikun. He has the same... It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nanomachines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura said. Surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. I can't... Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to... get... Number four... Number 14 is... Fuyusaka and Yakushi. All of the compatible... They said the gate's been... What if it's a lie? Wait... the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Who told you that? I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. 
The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say. Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. No, just more lies. It's true. Goto. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times, but you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me- It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Mr. Ida, for you to ask for me personally, I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. An interlocutor update? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But, there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Ugh. Why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. An improvement to the Sentinel, huh? Ryoko-san, what was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. I'll put DD-426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15, Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now, Akun will know it too. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication. But the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels, because only you know the password. We don't have much time. Please. You must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. It can't be. It's just... lies. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. A... That's right. I... I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. 
Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. <sighs> the memories you implanted in her, what are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection, and there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me. By Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Self Sukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. As Shinonome Senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android, so that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? Shibakun's not actually human. And not only that, He's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from... He lost his memories, and the damage was so bad, that's how he became... me. I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs, but she just dodged the question. She had a sad look on her face. <sighs> In my dream... A woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we shot the researchers dead. The woman I was with in that dream looked eerily similar to Fuyasaka-san. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my... So... That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many. Like Fuyusaka-san. And Yakushiji. 
If that was a real memory, does that mean I... fuyusaka san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumi's. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Knock it off. I'm not. I know I'm the only one who can. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my love. You're not trying to restore. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're. In other words, the other Juro. <sighs> you know, this one's three times old. I remember. You live in. That day at the shrine, you jumped out of that robot and possessed- What do you think I am, a ghost? I had nowhere else to go. If it were up to me, I would have picked a more welcoming host. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. to the nurse, I'll put Shinonomi-senpai at risk, too. Miss Morimura. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Excuse me. Uh, Karabikun. Is something wrong? Tell me the truth. I'm actually Jiro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Or rather, Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. Kurabikun? Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back. Can I trust her? If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. Where have I seen him before? <sighs> Kurabe-kun. No, if I run to the... I'll put Shino... That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. Do you have a minute? Huh? Uh, you're Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426, face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, 
Look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony... It makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <sighs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look. Kadam, do you know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <gasps> Mr. Juro Izumi, take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is... he's a terrorist bomber. Well... We took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is, in fact, you. From the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. Huh? What? An evacuation order? It's on the news? Looks like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino? I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... you got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you... know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. Ugh! Shippakun! So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. 
He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now. But he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Well, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on Mighty Kaiju Daimos. A Daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the Kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Daimos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh... There was a log on it, but it's gone. <sighs> You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony... in a video game? That's it, Hijiyama! Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun... What was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. Uh, well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times, Ijiyama. Uh. Hokino! Uh. Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness, I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me, foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So 
it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. Open the airlock. Hijiyama, respond please. I need you to open it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Yakushiji. Hijiyama, open the B2 airlock. I'm afraid I can't do that. Fill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. turned you into a sissy. In the end, you're still Juro. Just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nanomachines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. 
Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. back. Juro. What should I make... I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. Something smells good. Mm. You're awake. Just in time for dinner. Am I... Juro Izumi? What? Oh, are you saying... Do you remember me? You knew about this? That these dreams are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. You know something, don't you? Please, tell me. Oh. His memories haven't returned yet. Is what Fluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Kurabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please, don't ask me anything else. I won't be able to continue staying here if you do. I don't understand. Juro. where you went. <sighs> you were with Juro earlier. Hmm. I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamal Karabe. You were crying. Poor thing. Well, what do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh. Well, of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangements. What? However, I have two conditions. First, you will treat him as Juro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, uh, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he is Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. But he is. Why would that be bad? It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. 
Very dangerous. The reasons are unimportant. If you agree to these two conditions, you can live with him. <sighs> what will you do? I accept. How wonderful. Here, these documents make it legal for you to live with him. A rental agreement? I'll tell Mori Morrison of our arrangement myself. Please, go to Juro now. Oh, thank you. Fluffy, can nobody else see you? Morimura. So, you've been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yeah. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. Oh. Karabe kun, is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you been aware this whole time? <gasps> Kurabe-kun? Juro! What was that about? Hmm. I don't know. an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Those who use magic for their own means. You went there before. The abandoned factory in Higoromocho. They're going to alter his memories. You need to go there again. You need to rescue <sighs> Juro. Damn it. He's getting too far. He's gone? I knew he wasn't real. No. It doesn't matter. I'm on my way, Juro. what's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These... the things I remember, they aren't from the Juro you know. <clears throat> no. That can't be. Why would you say that? 
The things I saw in my dreams, they're memories. And the only memory I have of you is when I shot and killed you. <laughs> I was worried. I was so afraid that, that I'd hurt you again. Because I... Who are you? Is there really nothing left? There's no trace of him inside you? <laughs> no. I betrayed everyone. I betrayed Tony. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot. Yakushiji. That cat. What was the point? Wait. Juro, he really is gone forever. Are you all right? You by yourself? I am. Are you by yourself too? There's someone coming. Can you stay and talk till then? Making a child wait all by herself. Of course. I'll stay here until they come get you. Where's your friends? Well, I have some at school. No, silly. I'm not talking about them. I mean your friend that told you to update the decode. <gasps> hmm? What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. the decode decode do you mean the dimos code yep i know it wasn't you tell me who it was it was a cat huh a fluffy black cat with a white tipped tail so you caught her Renya goto you're late goto kun did you know do you understand what you did to me i sealed your powers as a witch to fight the kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the ruse a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nanomachines. They added code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become, we have no way of knowing. That can't be. The one behind all this. The one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning. It was all lies. I won't forgive him. Not ever. There you are. About time you got back. You lied to me. About everything. You seem mad, but I haven't lied to you. You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. 
there is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying this isn't the real world? No, more lies! You convinced me to shoot my friends with this thing. And now you're in control of the Kaiju and the Sentinels. Was that your goal all along? To end humanity? I've already told you. This is a game. I'm only making preparations. A game where our lives are on the line? Not if things go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. <laughs> Whose memories are in Juro? Ah, oh, right. That. Those are my memories, actually. <gasps> it's not my fault, though. You really think I'd believe your lies again? No, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro too, weren't you? It was not my intention, but in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. By the way, I forgot to mention, you're the final witch. But you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait, what? Where is he? deserves to die is me Tony forgive me <laughs> to actually shoot yourself like that it must have really been driving you mad but don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, there may be a little. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love. Almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me, after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you. Megumi Yakushiji, the days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling, as if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, this is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, 
I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Juro. What happened? Uh. Did you shoot yourself in the stomach with that gun? Please, wait. Just hear me out. Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel. Taking down Kaiju after Kaiju. Struggling in pain. Fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No! Cancel release! I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No! The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting for you. Juro... I'm not... <sighs> I'm not Juro Izumi anymore, but my feelings are the same. <sighs> Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I... well, I love you. <sighs> my feelings for you are just as strong and true as Izumi's. <sighs> Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... Fluffy really was trying, just like he said. He was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him, but I don't care. I will protect you with everything that I have. No. <laughs> I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Juro. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean... Yakushiji? Oh. Look at him sleeping up there! I hope he's warm. He's so cute! I wonder if he'll still be there at lunch. Doubt it. Fluffy, I know you're not him. I just wanted to say... I'm sorry, and I... Oh. I'll try my best. For you, Fluffy.
here, I can no longer rely on Shikishima. Miss Murimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project, as if I'm just a child. I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions going forward. Miss Morimura, why did you have to die? Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. This refers to the human those compatible. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their body. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about your death. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. So, what did the police say? The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time. Beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short-haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. They found a witness. This era's police really did their due diligence. An acquaintance of Miss Morimura, described as a short-haired male and a student you most likely a Sekigahara. There should have been that drone tracking her movement, so... Anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. Any thoughts as to our primary suspect? The witness statement matches the description of A. Sekigahara. It did seem like something was... wrong with Aseki Gahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he bothered to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. Who else could it be? That man with that... Call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking, he would naturally be another potential suspect. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatible. He's a dangerous individual, and he's still at large. All that's left of 426 is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. 426 certainly isn't above killing. If Ida-san were here, I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. If he resurrects...
did himself as an android, maybe. That would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear-cut. Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426, would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? That doesn't make sense. According to number 18, or should I say, to Mao-san, I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings, and my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Goto-kun. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morrison. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Juro-kun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not... Not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juro-kun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, I've been giving her some advice about it. And I understand where she's coming from, but... Uh, Mori Morrison is in love with him. With 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but... That's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. <sighs> Watch over Mori Morrison, and try to keep her away from Juro-kun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one four two six, let alone two. <sighs> so I was right. Miss Mori Mura did have feelings for someone. Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san, four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all in one fell swoop, according to Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened. And Miss Morimura should be aware of that.
I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Ms. Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. 